Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. Yeah, I've been having fun with my Pioneer DJ DDJ200 and Wii DJ, and then I found out there's this complimentary course from the DJCoach.com, the Wii DJ Five Day DJ Challenge. You get to learn all the fundamentals and put your first four songs set together. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, here at the DJCoach.com, I got through day one just fine, even got 100% on the quiz. And that's DJ Hapa, the teacher for the course. But here in the middle of day two, this transition effects, I got lost entirely. Let's explain why. Yeah, the software on my Android tablet, the WeDJ software, you can see right above the crossfader is where the transition effects button is supposed to be. But there's no button in this version of the software. So I contacted the support at the DJ coach and they replied and sent me basically a screenshot from their iPhone. And there it is, the filter mix button right above the crossfade and you can choose any of these transition effects. So I knew I had a problem. I went out and I bought an iPad, this ninth generation iPad. I went to Target and they sold it to me for MSRP, that $329. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna do something, you might as well follow through. I'll go ahead, I installed the WeDJ software for iPad. It's $4.99 and you open it up and there's no transition effects button. So what to do now? I'm lost. That's it. I'm going to install the iPhone version. And here you see it's got all the bells and whistles just like it's supposed to, except it doesn't fill the screen up. So I'm kind of freaking out. But then I realized down there on the lower right corner of the screen, there's a zoom button, and now it fills the screen on my ninth generation iPad. And I've got the transition effects button. So yeah, that's the difference between the iPad version, the Android version, and the iPhone version. The iPhone version was free, whereas the iPad version was five bucks. And you can see the ratings are just not very positive there for the iPad version. Whereas, yeah, you know, the iPhone version has a ratings of 4.5 stars across a bunch of downloads. Now, another feature that was really important to me is in the tracks where you're selecting songs. You see here, you can really only select the songs that are local to your device on the iPad Android version. But in the iTunes version, when you go to load tracks, you also have the option of connecting to several cloud-based options like SoundCloud, etc. So now you can see I push the button, it lights up the filter mix, push it again, it turns it off. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. There's a little side note. Uh, the only two of these uh, transition effects come for free. You have to pay $13.99 to get the rest of them out from behind the paywall there, but I figured I'm already this far. I just went right ahead. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and check out just what we can do with the transition effects. Okay. Noise, spin mix. Some of these little subtle, you want to do your crossfade carefully, slowly, kind of to the rhythm. Echo out, cut in. There's an interesting little jump start there. So the cut-ins basically cue up the other track that you're transitioning in. Do a noise echo cut-in. Yeah, and the mixes, you could have both tracks playing at the same time and do your crossfade effect, your transition effect. Noise spin mix. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah, slow it down a little bit. Echo out mix. Okay, cool. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed learning about the differences between the versions of WeDJ software. And go ahead and check out some more of my WeDJ DDJ 200 videos and give this video a like. And before I take off, please, Click on subscribe.
Thank you very much.